हरे कृष्ण कृष्ण हरे हरे राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम जय श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु नित्यानंद श्री अद्वैत गदाधर शिवा साधि गौर भक्त वृंद जय श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु नित्यानंद श्री अद्वैत गदाधर शिवा सदि गौर भक्त वृंद हे कृष्णा करुणा सिंधु दीन बांधो जगत पते गोपेश गोपी कांत राधा कांत नमोस्तुते तप्त कंचन गोरंगी राधे वृंदेश्वरी वृषभानु सुते देवी प्रणमा हरे प्रिय <coughs> नारायण नमस्कृत नरम चेव नरोत्तम देवी सरस्वती व्यास तथो जय मुधीरे राधे गोलोकानंद भगवान की जय राधे गोलोकानंद भगवान की जय श्रीमद भागवतम की जय हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा जय हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा मुनमोन हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा एवरीवन सो Oh, Tarun is in India actually. Tarun is traveling to India. He'll be back in two weeks. <clears throat> And let's restart Shrimad Bhagavatam. So, we are going to read three verses. Right? We completed Canto One, Canto Two. There are twelve cantos, twelve books in Shrimad Bhagavatam. Yeah. Canto Ten is the one. which is the the central part of shrimad bhagavatam which is lord krishna's story and it is mentioned that to get to lord krishna's canto right the shrimad bhagavatam canto 10 it's recommended that you go through the canto 9 like 1 to 9 so that then we are eligible to read canto 10 because that ras that bhav you need to build Till Canto nine, so that we can read Canto ten, right? So far, we are only on Canto three, um, but but we are on chapter thirty second of Canto three. So we just have one more chapter before we complete Canto three, right? And then we are on Canto four. So the chapter thirty three about the entanglement in fugitive activity, यानी कि कर्मा में कपिल मुनि, who is none other than Avatar of who lord vishnu lord vishnu yeah so kapil muni is a lord himself taro vishnu he is giving transcendental knowledge he has explained about the nature he has explained about the devotional service he has explained the characteristics of a devotee right bhakt kya hai bhakti kya hai and then last chapter he explained people who are too much into the materialistic world right unki kya habits hoti hai and what happens to them right in this whole 8.4 million species of earth and death now kapil muni is explaining us about entanglement in fugitive activities like how we get into the actions and reactions of the karma so that's what kapil muni is talking about yesterday we read the shlok first yeah <clears throat> which basically mean the personality of god had said the person who lives in the center of household life derives material benefits by performing religious rituals and thereby he fulfills his desire for economic development and sense gratification again and again he acts the same way says ye bhu rahe piparti taan hai basically for kamam artham cha dharma basically in the materialistic world a conditioned soul right we do all the work for economic benefits and all other benefits and then we pray to lord we create all these religious rituals to get some benefits yeah but what is being mentioned is those benefits are temporary anyways right and this 
then what happens is this devotes us of Krishna Bhakti because the important part is Krishna devotion is, is what is mentioned, right? So actually it's a nice per uh, per the second paragraph. Let's read this, Ajay. <clears throat> sure. A ghast is a person who lives with family, wife, children, and relatives, but has no attachment for them. He prefers to live in family life rather than as a mendicant or sannyasi, but his chief aim is to achieve self-realization or to come to the standard of Krishna consciousness. Here, however, Lord Kapil Dev is speaking about the Grahamedis who have made their aim materialistically prosperous life, which they achieve by sacrificial ceremonies, by charities, and by good work. They are posted in good positions, and since they know they are using their assets of pious activities, they again and again perform activities of sense gratification. It is said by Prahlad Maharaj, Puna, Puna, Punas Chavira Karvandan, Chavandanam. They prefer to chew the, chew the already chewed again and again. They experience the material pangs even if they are rich and prosperous, but they do not want to give up this kind of life. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Yeah. So first of all, two things are described. One is Griha Medhis and one is Grihast. Yeah. So Griha Medhis are also living in the family life, but they are totally materialistic mindset. Yeah. And Grihast is also living in the family life. He's not a sannyasi, but even his family is in Krishna consciousness. And he also is focused on Krishna consciousness. Right in in devotion. That's how the two terms are described here. And what is mentioned, but generally the Griya Megis, Griya Megis, right, are in good positions. Everything is great, but they just keep going back and back into the sense gratification. Yeah, is what is described here. Now, Anilji. Sachapi Bhagavadhar Mat Kam Mura Paranga Paranga Yajite Krata Vir Devan Pitrusham Sadhyan Vitaha. Such persons are very bereft of devotional service due to being too attached to sense gratification, and therefore, although they perform various kinds of sacrifices and take great vows to satisfy the demigods and forefathers, they are not interested in Krishna consciousness, devotional service. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. So, Chapi Bhagavat Karmat ka mudha hai par Basically, they pray to Lord, yeah, describe, such persons are being described. They pray to Lord, but they, all the things are even done though for sense gratification and for all the good things to them, good money, good thing and all that and sense gratification, right? So for example, even we sometimes, right, if it comes to for a choice, like if you have to go to a temple or if you have to go to a party, what are we going to choose, right? <laughs> if there is a function in the temple, and if there is a party which we have to attend, you know, most of the time, most of the people will choose to go to party because that's more important, right? But that's the thing, like those sense gratification because we feel our indriyas to be satisfied by doing such kind of things. And then what happens is we lose the time of devotional service. Yeah, is what is being mentioned. Because then Krishna consciousness, devotional service, time is reduced because we are spending more and more time on materialistic uh, activities. Yeah. Uh, uh, 
पुमान गत्वा चंद्र मनसम लोकम सोम पा पुनरेक्षति सच मटीरियलिस्टिक पर्सन अट्रैक्टेड बाय सेंस सेंस क्रेटिफिकेशन एंड डिवोटेड टू द फोर फादर्स एंड डेमी गॉड्स कैन बी एलिवेटेड टू द मून वेयर द ड्रिंक एंड एक्सट्रैक्ट ऑफ द सोमा प्लांट दे अगेन रिटर्न टू दिस प्लान हरे कृष्ण Hare Krishna. Huh? So very important. It is like, you know, so we can pray to lot of, of course, devtas. They can give us lot of things, right? And even we can do lot of good karmas. Yeah, we can do lot of good karmas. And then what happens is we can get to the better planets in the next life because we have done such a good karma that we deserve a better materialistic life. Even to the extent where we can drink an extract of the soma plant in the upper planets. right but the point is which is being mentioned here is after the results of those karmas are exhausted they again return to this planet yeah again return to this planet gets into this cycle of 8.4 million species yeah it says here in spite of being promoted to the moon and i think ajay you were asking this right last before a couple of days like what happens you can go to the higher planets but then what happens in spite of being promoted to the moon however one has to come back to this earth again when the merits of his works in sacrifice are finished yeah the good karmas results exhausted and they have to come back and he says that this is also confirmed in bhagavad gita te tam bhuktava sarvagya lokam vishalam shine punye martya mrityu lokam vishanti yeah so back to mrityu lok this 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 place is called as a mrityu lok like you must have read it in a lot of the scriptures right so then they have to come back to this lok so when they come back they come back as a human or they start from scratch again yeah so i think in the scriptures it i think in the scriptures in the scriptures it's mentioned that it, it goes through this cycle of 8.4 million species Mm-hmm. it says that right to come down and you again get into the cycle but then again there can be exceptions for different regions and all that right and then once that cycle starts then that's why it says then you again get a chance to be a human being at some point after i don't know whatever millions year or whatever <laughs> millions of years because we we have always been existing right as you know right what is as a eternal soul we have always been existing right we get different bodies as it was mentioned in the last chapter also <coughs> uh, hare krishna pravin ji <clears throat> hare krishna prabhu ji hare krishna right so it is been mentioned that we get we that we know right we get different bodies based on different karmas we read about that right and at some point we get the human form and even in the human form there are so many forms right <laughs> when you get that form that's when they say like this is your chance now to go back to godhead because this is your chance to devote time in, in krishna consciousness right basically do the devotional service let's try to get that connection back to lord krishna so that we can go back to godhead and then how do we get that connection back what's the process what's the process of bhakti like what do we do shravanam kirtanam and right there are nine different ways right but the shravanam kirtanam ismaranam right mm-hmm. so those are the ways and this is how we remember lord krishna right we remember lord krishna by chanting hare krishna maha mantra because the krishna is the name of the lord and it is absolute which means there is no difference in lord krishna himself and his name so when we chant hare krishna we are actually a uh, direct connection to lord shri krishna yeah and then like we are reading shrimad bhagavatam this is a katha about bhakt yeah katha about bhagwan uh, so this is a devotional service right reading shrimad uh, bhagavatam reading bhagavad gita chanting doing kirtan right those are some of the devotional services 
Uh, so we'll read the next show, right, Ajay? So is that good, right? Oh. Uh, Jyoti? Yada cha indra shayayam sheta nanta sano haridi Prada loka layam yati ta ite gruha medina All the planets of the materialist persons, including all the heavenly planets, such as the moon, Arvan, Pushwanda, Supreme Personality of Godhead, Hari, goes to his bed of serpents, which is known as Ananta Shesha. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. So all of us have heard about Anant, Hari Anant, right? Lord Vishnu. You know, Anant Asano Hari hai, and we know Seshnag, right? So what it's saying basically is that we know Lord Brahma is, is the creator of this universe, right? But when says that all these planets, because everything is of materialistic planets, including the heavenly planets, right? They all vanquished when Hari goes to his bed of serpents. So, when the pralaya happens. And when does the pralaya happen? Twice, right? The major pralaya happens when Lord Brahma's age is expired, right? In this Lord Brahma's age, which is 300 and plus trillion years. Plus, the pralaya also happens at the end of one day of Lord Brahma, which is still 4.2 billion years. And then smaller pillars happen like after every Manu, uh, right? But what it says is, at that point, so so the point it's trying to make is, is still it's all uh, materialistic planets. Yeah, and that's temporary even though, even though long, long, long uh, time period in terms of solar years. Uh, let's read this uh, purple. Um, Anjoti. The materially attached are very eager to promote themselves to the heavenly planets such as the moon. There are many heavenly planets to which they aspire just to achieve more and more material happiness by getting a long duration of life and the paraphernalia for sense enjoyment. But the attached persons do not know that even if one goes to the heavenly planet, Brahmaloka, destruction exists there also. In Bhagavad Gita, the Lord says that one can even go to the Brahma Loka, but still he will find the pang of birth, death, disease, and old age. Only by approaching the Lord's abode of Vaikuntha Loka does not take birth again in his material world. The Graha Medis are materialistic persons, however, do not like to use this advantage. They would prefer to transmigrate perpetually from one body to another or from one planet to another. They do not want to want the eternal blissful life in knowledge in the kingdom of God. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna, yeah. So that's what Kapil Muni is describing. So remember, like in this chapter, right, the Kapil Muni is talking about the conditioned living entities and how they can, how they in, get in, entangled in fruitive activities, right? Karma me kaise ban jate hai. And then keep what happens is what is being explained by Kapil Muni. Yeah. No mother Devuti. It's a part of the Sankhya Vigyan. Yeah. Kavinji? Yeah. Uh, Hare Krishna Prabhu. Hare Krishna. Ye Sadharma Naduhyant Dhira Ka Marthetave Ni Sangha Nist Karmana Prashanta Shuddha Chet Sahe. Those. Uh, should I, uh, uh, yes. translation should I read? Mm -hmm. Those who are intelligent and are a purified consciousness are completely satisfied in Krishna consciousness. Free from the modes of material nature, they do not act for sense gratification. Rather, since they are situated in their own occupational duties, they act as one is expected to act. Hare Krishna Prabhu. Mm -hmm. Hare Krishna. Yeah. So now Kapil Muni is talking about the people who are purified conscious, right? Which is dedicated to Krishna consciousness. They do not act for sense gratification. 
Yeah. So whatever karma they do is for the sake of Supreme Lord Himself, right? So then they are not bound by the the law of karma. Yeah. Should the chaitas have, so then the uh, action and reactions does not impact them. Uh, very nice purport again. Let's uh, let's uh, read this. Um, Anilji. Yeah. Persons who work at their prescribed duties, not for sense gratification, but for gratification of the Supreme Lord, are, are called Nihasang, freed from the influence of the modes of material nature. Nasta karmang, karmang, Karmanaha indicates that the results of their activities are given to the Supreme Personality of God. Such persons appear to be acting on the platform of their respective duties, but such activities are not performed for personal sense gratification. Rather, they are performed for the Supreme Person. Such devotees are called Prasantaha, which means completely satisfied. Suddha Chetasa means Krishna conscious. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Yeah. Their consciousness has become purified. In purified consciousness, one thinks of himself as the Lord of the universe. But in purified consciousness, one thinks himself the eternal servant of the Supreme Personality of the Godhead. Putting oneself in that position of eternal servitorship to the Supreme Lord and working for him perpetually. One actually becomes completely satisfied. As long as one works for his personal sense gratification, he will always be full of anxiety. That is the difference between ordinary consciousness and Krishna consciousness. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Yeah, so pretty clear. Okay. Sure. Nivritti dharma nirata nimarmama nirhar nirhankata sarv dharma patin satvin parishuddhen chitasa. By executing one's occupational duties, acting with detachment and without sense of proprietorship or false egoism, one is posted in one's constitutional position by dint of complete purification of consciousness and by thus executing so-called material duties, he can easily enter into the kingdom of God. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. We know it's not easy, right? But one can enter into the kingdom of God. How? Right? Like Swaya Dharma, Satvena, Parishuddha, Parishuddhena Chetsa, yeah? Nirahankrita. So it's saying like by not thinking about a sense of proprietorship. Like this body is mine, this country is mine, this thing is mine, this land is mine, right? All that, nothing is ours, right? So once we start getting into that constitutional position and how do we get to that position, right? The only way to understand that and really be in that mode, which is to get away from those three modes of material nature, Right, Satogun, Rajogun, and Tamagun is to do the devotional service, to be in the consciousness of Supreme Personality of Godhead, Krishna consciousness. Once we start doing chanting, once we start reading, right, slowly and slowly, like we read in the last canto, actually, right, it said, like, once we start doing the devotional service, Lord Himself, Lord Krishna Himself, will give us that knowledge and the progress where we will be more interested in that. Krishna consciousness. So that's a way to get into the detachment of other things. So you still live a grihastha life, but your focus is Krishna consciousness. When that happens, it says that one can enter into the kingdom of God. Yeah. So very interesting. <clears throat> Again, very nice purpose. So we'll read uh, these. Uh, Pravinji? Yes. Hare Krishna Prabhu. 
hear the word nivritti dharma nirpath 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 means constantly engaging in executing religious activities for detachment there are two kinds of religious performances one is called pravritti dharma which means the religious activities performed by the uh, grahamedhas for elevation to a higher planets or for economic prosperity the final aim of which is sense gratification everyone of us who has come to this material world has the sense of overlordship this is called pravritti gratif uh, but the opposite types of religious performance which is called nivritti is to act for the supreme personality of god hate hari krishna prabhu hari krishna ah munmun ah should i continue it okay munmun can do it now okay engaged in devotional service in krishna consciousness one has no proprietorship claim nor is one situated in the false egoism of thinking that he is god or the master he always thinks himself the servant that is the process of purifying consciousness with pure consciousness only can one enter into the kingdom of god materialistic persons in their elevated condition can enter any one of the planets within this material world but all are subjected to dissolution over and over again hari krishna hari krishna yeah so two things mentioned nivritti and pravritti yeah so pravritti is where we are attached to the materialistic world and then that's what sense gratification and we keep living our life and go through the cycle of death and birth and all that right the second is nivritti so we are getting nivritti from the materialistic world yeah yeah so that is a devotional service in krishna consciousness where we don't own anything no proprietorship claim yeah the reason we are thrown into materialistic world is because we think we own something and then we come here and then we go through this cycle yeah so i think we are going to pause here we will continue with shlok 7 tomorrow very beautiful shlok actually which says surya dwarena te yanti purusham vishvato mukham paravaresham prakriti masya utpatya utpant bhavanam like we'll read it tomorrow because only 2 minutes left so we'll pause here and as like we know devotional service is important we are going to hear a uh, very beautiful krishna chanting for a couple of minutes and we'll see you tomorrow at 10 o'clock yeah hare krishna hare, hare krishna. krishna hare krishna 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 hare 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 ram hare ram 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 hare 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 krishna hare krishna 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 hare 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 ram